Hope you like guys. It's been a long time since I made a video. Um, we packed the birds in for a while after COVID. Uh, I got COVID really bad and um, so I had to pack it in. I ended up getting rid of all the pigeons because uh, my breathing was terrible after their COVID for what I thought was caused by the COVID but it wasn't, it was um, I discovered it had asthma just slightly even with a bit of treatments it's under control, no problem now so this season we got the birds back we got a load of young birds we started with um, and we had a couple of races with them we've stopped them now because they're molten bad because they're not in the dark system. We're obviously only interested in racing old beds, so um, we're not going to use the dark system. We built this loft as well in the summer. It's 16, 16, yeah, it's 16 by 6. So it's got two sections there. We're just waiting for another set of boxes to come to match these. We've got these here for now, they'll go right at the end. So we should have about 16 boxes in here. Let's go through this little section. It's going to be a roundabout loft. Obviously the hands are going to go through here. This is just a small section. 30 pages in. Goes through to an aviary outside. That's where the, the hands are getting kept now. For the winter. As you say, these are coming through them all quite well. I'm just waiting on some light reds to come. Um, most, of the, most of the checkers you can see are, um, and the dark ones, they're off a bush off family, off a friend of ours in Yorkshire. Uh, she's a lady flyer, she's, she wins at Etty Heavy, but she's, uh, she's, 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 she's brilliant, she is. Uh, she's a good friend and myself and my son so she's helped us start off again um, so them checkers and the dark ones were young birds off air this season we're expecting another 23 pigeons like that are coming off, off air they'll be trained through the winter um, and then race next year as all birds with this team we just want a big team of all birds to send next year. We had seven hens this year, all birds. We had some light reds last season. We trained them through the winter and we raced them as all birds this season. Uh, the highest position we got was the 10th place, but we had them on the celibate system. We just had seven celibate hens. We raced them against all the widowed cocks. People were sending 40, 50 cocks every week. We just had these seven hens. After about four races, we were down to about four four hens, and uh, yeah, they they done quite well for us. Considering what they were, and you know, they never had much experience against all the other birds. I'll just show you the young bird loft on the way past, and then I'll show you the hens. Hens are out in the aviary for the winter just to molt. We still let them out every couple of days, but. Hey, this is the uh, young bird loft. It's got about 24 pages in it. It's full of crap at the moment. But as you can see, it's all painted out ready or new for these light breads coming. Obviously got to move all this rubbish out of here. Well, it's got an aviary on the front. It's got a box at the side where we'll be able to basket the birds from and they can sit out in that as well in the day. Bit of ventilation at the back. Little vent down there. But it's, yeah, it's quite good, it's got a mesh door, this closes over obviously and I can leave this bed door open with a ventilation through the day <coughs> Shut this, that's the effort with one hand As you say the loft's about 16 foot It's quite good, it's got double glazed windows which we picked up on our travels It's all made of ply and then I've I've covered it in this feather board 
but underneath the fiber board it's like a plastic a thick plastic sheet and I'll show you it's like this what builders use it's quite it's quite thick that's underneath the fiber board two trap doors them insides they come out and then another board fits in with bob wires in to let them back in so I'll give it a quick look at these hands say this is just the Avery we've put on the end but it's ideal for the hens some of them here beautiful you know. this back wall here as well yeah, it comes off so I can take the whole back wall out and um, show you the whole back wall just comes out this handle clipped in six clips either side and the whole wall just comes off so it can clean easily as you can see let's stand back in have a look perspex roof as you say it's still a work in progress we're still building as you say with pigeons you've always got something to do so we're just gonna have a real good go at it this time just cleared some ground here we're hoping to get another Eight by six shed in here, just for a stock loft. Let's see how that goes. Should be coming next week. But yeah, that's it, guys. Yeah. Hopefully, I'll start putting a, a few videos up for you to have a little look at. I just heard them squeaking, and I was just reminding myself that they were here. Got a couple of late beds. This was uh, a hen that we had a late bed from last year. She's done all the races for us this year, um, right up until the last race. She didn't get any good positions, but she's one of them pigeons just kept coming. She just kept coming and coming, no matter what the weather, when all the birds were going down. She was still there every week, so... There we go, a couple of blues. Like a blue pad there. There's only a box. Oh, you can all fall. Nice little pie. Little pile of the blues. Beautiful. Beautiful bird. So obviously with the 23 we've got coming off um, off the lady in Yorkshire. I don't mention any names. She might not want me to mention any names. Um, yeah, so with the 23 coming off them and then we've got them two. And there's another one coming that's going to be a stock bird. It's, off, um, it's a special bird off someone's really good stuff. Another friend of ours in Liverpool. Obviously, we're going to keep that back in time, but in the stock loft with a few other birds that we've been promised. You say they're all looking okay. All looking great. Can't wait to get them through the mall, to be honest. It's one of the old Bush R family. There's nestmates over there. You see these checkers, they're all from that old Bushard strain. We were doing all the winning for this lady. Probably about 35, maybe. Yeah, 35 years old. The strain of birds that she's got. She was not doing too bad. Right, guys, I'll, um, I'll put some more up when I get something interesting to talk about with you. I just thought I'd give you a quick look around of what we've been doing. I know it's been a couple of years, but as you say, life catches up with you, things happen. But I'm back on it now. Take care, see you all later. Bye.